look done. I'm using the Dose of Colors. This is the Olive U. If you want to see a quick tutorial of this, you can head on over to my Instagram and TikTok. I'll leave that down below. I just did a quick uh, tutorial video on this look over there. For the foundation. So, so far we have tried three foundations. I feel like the Laura Geller was probably the most full coverage of the ones that I have tried so far. The e.l.f. seemed to look the best on my skin. The Laura Geller lasted the longest and on camera I noticed it didn't show at all but it was kind of looking a little dry on my chin area but that's where I get dry. Laura Geller, the most full coverage so far and lasted the longest. The e.l.f. Got, looked the most natural on my skin but it didn't last as long it was through my t-zone it kind of had worn off after seven hours or so but that was with no touch-up the pericone md i feel like it was kind of hard to judge because the color that i had was too dark for me but the travel size only comes in one color i wish it had more colors but it was the most lightweight feeling on the skin out of the three i didn't feel like i had anything on it didn't last as long either as the Laura Geller. So today is going to be Makeup Revolution. Now I have tried this one before. This is the Conceal and Define the F2 and this is not the one that's hydrating. I got this before that one came out. It does have a glass bottle which I think is great. The brand is cruelty free. This has a 12 month shelf life and I forget if there's a scent or not. There is a smell. Um, when you put it on your face, if I remember, I will find out today that you don't smell it. But when you first pull it out of the bottle, it kind of has that chemically, chemical, almost like paint-like smell. It does have a Dofa applicator. I'll swatch it for you. That is what it looks like swatched. We'll go ahead and put the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer on again. This time I'm going to put it on this side of the face. I just kind of want to mix it up as I'm trying these out so that I know that maybe it's, you know, one side of my face has larger pores or not, that it's really based on how it's performing with the primer and not just that side of the face, if that makes sense. And I don't know if it's coming across on screen, the little bit of glitter that's on my face. This is still from the glitter shades that is in the Pure Barbie palette. I have used makeup remover and washed my face. And no matter what, I still feel like I have a little bit of glitter. It's been every time I've used that palette, any of the glitter color, glitter kind of on my face for the next couple days after using that. So just FYI. You know the drill. I'm going to apply it with my fingers first and then brush and see how they do. I'm going to start with the side with the no primer.
of settling into my fine lines up here. A little bit, you know, my smile lines a little bit. I like how it blends out. So this is the side again with no primer. I like how it blends out better with the brush than with my fingers. Overall, I feel like the color is good. It feels pretty lightweight. It's not as lightweight as the Pyracone MD, but I don't know if anything is because that was kind of more like a serum. Let's see what happens with the side with the primer.
just looks a little bit better with the look. Maybe if we were going into spring, I would pair the pink with it, but I feel like going, being the end of the summer, going into fall, that this is a better lip to pair with the olive green. Here is the finished look for today. Again, using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. So I would say that this is full coverage. I mean, it does cover everything. And I don't know if it's like a mask on or anything like that type of full coverage, but, and it does feel pretty lightweight. I mean, I feel like I have something on, but it's not heavy or anything. So I'd love to know down below if you so far have a preference of which foundation you think looks the best. Laura Geller, e.l.f., the Pericone MD, or the Makeup Revolution, this one. I will check in in about seven hours and we'll see how I look. Okay, so here is my nightly check-in. It's been about seven and a half hours. And I was going to clean up my mascara, but I thought I would show you real life. And this was the Ulta brand mascara. As you can see, there is some flaking. My eyeshadow is holding up pretty good. This is the side with the e.l.f. primer. And this is the side with the Urban Decay primer. But let's look at the foundation. I think that this is the side with the primer that my cheeks might look a little plumper on this side and a little more hydrated, but man, my skin is looking not too good right now. I got still sparkles from the Barbie Pure, just kind of all over the place, but yeah, it is worn off on my chin and nose, of course, and I feel like it's definitely kind of breaking up right here and showing my wrinkles and pores. Again, this side had the primer on it. You can see there's some fine lines that I didn't even notice before, but now with this, I can see them right here. And without the primer, I get in the light. It's kind of the same. I feel like it wore off a little bit right here where the blush and highlighter was. So I think the blush and highlighter stayed more with the side with the primer. And the foundation might have stayed a little bit more too, but it's still starting to kind of break up and disappear down here. Yeah, it's starting to break up right there. So it's not looking, it's in my lines. So I'd say after seven and a half hours that if you wear a primer, it is going to help it last a little bit longer. But I think that you'd probably need to touch up or use a setting spray if you wanted this Makeup Revolution to stay for seven plus hours because I just don't think that it looks as fresh. And again, I would have had to touch up in my T-zone. Anyway, anyway, this is $12. I don't think I mentioned that. So I hope to see you back here tomorrow. I am going to be trying out a mousse foundation. And also, I normally do not upload on Saturday. This weekend, I'm going to be doing a bonus upload. And on Saturday, I'm going to do my 21 days of beauty from Ulta, the items that I personally have, and give you my thoughts on them and what's on my wish list. So if you're interested, stay tuned for that on Saturday. See you next time. Bye.